Olivia Munn, Brett Ratner and Natasha Henstridge Getty Images Olivia Munn and Natasha Henstridge are among six actresses who have accused director Brett Ratner of sexual harassment and misconduct in a report from the Los Angeles Times published Wednesday. Henstridge, 43, who appeared in Species 1995, described her encounter as a then 19-year-old model, who ended up falling asleep on Ratner's couch in his New York apartment while watching a movie with friends. When she awoke, Ratner, 48, then in his early 20s, allegedly blocked her exit. He strong-armed me in a real way. He physically forced himself on me, Henstridge explained, adding he allegedly forced her to perform oral sex. At some point, I gave in and he did his thing. Ratner's lawyer, Marty Singer, has disputed Henstridge's account. While Munn, 37, previously described Ratner's behavior in her 2010 collection of essays, Suck It, Wonder Woman The Misadventures of a Hollywood Geek, noting how he had masturbated in front of her on a film set in 2004, the X-Men The Last Stand star later confirmed he was the director described in the book. Munn told The Times she ran into Ratner the same year her book debuted at an agency party, where she claimed he bragged about ejaculating on magazine covers featuring her photos. Jamie Ray New Mangati images though Ratner vehemently disputes Munn's accusations through his lawyer. The newsroom actress said she has made specific, conscientious choices not to work with Brett Ratner. Ratner also claimed he banged Munn, but backtracked during a 2011 appearance on Howard Stern. While Singer alleges Munn and Ratner had an intimate relationship, Munn has called Singer's claim a complete lie. I should NT have to be completely broken, battered, and devalued in order to prove that he crossed a line, she told the LA Times. The Punisher star Jamie Ray Newman also detailed Ratner's vulgar behavior on an Air Canada flight in 2005. He was graphically describing giving me oral sex and how he was addicted to it, Newman said, revealing Ratner had asked his assistant to switch seats before takeoff so he could sit next to her. The Tower Heist director also allegedly showed Newman nude photos of his then-girlfriend. Ratner maintained the incident never took place, with Singer dubbing Newman's account a ridiculous claim. Singer also disputed actress Catherine Town's absurd incident from over a decade ago, in which Ratner allegedly acted in an aggressive manner toward the What Lies Beneath star at a party. He started to come on to me in a way that was so extreme, the 39-year-old film star shared, claiming Ratner also followed her into the bathroom. I think it's pretty aggressive to go in the bathroom with someone you don't know and close the door. Catherine Town a wire image Town alleged Ratner's assistant phoned her for six months in an attempt to arrange a dinner. Ratner's lawyer has pressed to know where the wrongful conduct occurred in Town's story. Even if hypothetically this incident occurred exactly as claimed, how is flirting at a party, complimenting a woman on her appearance, and calling her to ask her for a date wrongful conduct singer questioned. Two additional background actresses from Ratner's 2001 project Rush Hour to have also come forward, describing the director's alleged lewd behavior. Then 21-year-old part-time model Eri Sasaki claimed Ratner ran his index finger down her stomach while she was dressed in minimal attire, then asked if Shed liked to go into the bathroom with him. Upon turning Ratner down, he allegedly asked, Don't you want to be famous actress Joe Rena King recalled Ratner allegedly requesting she visit his trailer, claiming he needed to see her breasts. She declined and stayed in a bathroom. I figured if I could stay out of his eyesight, if I could stay away from him, he will forget about me and he will choose someone else, and that is exactly what happened, she said. Though Sasaki told production assistant Kent Richards of the alleged incident with Ratner, the crew member recalled two or three other background actresses sharing similar stories. Singer disputed the claims on Ratner's behalf in a 10-page letter to the publication. In a separate statement to page 6, Singer told us Brett Ratner vehemently denies the outrageous derogatory allegations that have been reported about him, and we are confident that his name will be cleared once the current media frenzy dies down and people can objectively evaluate the nature of these claims. He understands the seriousness of this issue and the importance of addressing the concerns of victims of sexual misconduct in both the entertainment industry and beyond. Allegations of Ratner's misconduct come in the wake of accusations made against disgraced mogul Harvey Weinstein, director James Tabak and recently, Kevin Spacey. Reps for Ratner did not immediately return a request for comment.